Holding was pulled down then by Bill Green, the former Carlisle player. More shock than anything else for Holden. It's all right again. Bolton, to, no, it's not Bolton, it's going to be Ashurst with the free kick. John Radford, the former Arsenal with England star, being beaten by Gary Rowell. And a chance there, surely, and it's the first goal, yes, and a beautiful goal scored by Holden. And a mistake by Radford. Only two minutes of the game. Radford being caught in possession by Gary Rowell and the West Ham defence nowhere as Rowell makes progress, puts it into the middle and there was Mel Holden to put Sutherland in the lead. Ten goals they've scored in the last two matches. Bolton. And Days losing out on it. Now Raul trying to take his time. Beaten by Bill Green. Now back comes Sutherland. Raul again and he's got the second. And that really was well worked. Kevin Arnott, the man pulling it back from the byline. And the number 11, Gary Rowell, who made the first goal, was there, although the ball was put into the net by a West Ham defender. There was no doubt at all. The ball was always on the way there. And suddenly knocking the ball about with a great deal of confidence. Hanging in the air, dropping well for Lee. Now to Kerr. And off bombs for a corner kick. Organising the defence is Billy Bonds. A quarter of an hour to go, and I don't think Bonds or anybody else could be very satisfied with the way the West Ham defence has been playing. Bobby Kerr, the Sunderland captain, to take the corner kick. Day missing that one. And it's a goal! Yes! Scored very cheekily by the number nine, Mel Holden. It was a, a weak clearance by Day. Mel Holden has got the goal. A weak clearance by Day was running back, and there was Mel Holden all on his own. Nobody within yards of him. And Holden just nodded it into the empty net. Green got a good back pass, and it's a corner kick. There have been an awful lot of question marks against this West Ham defence. Quickly taken the corner. Lee. Waldron. And the back of your I think it was almost there. Well, that would have been the cheekiest goal of the season if that back heel flick by Mel Holden and Bonnie. He's looking for Radford, and Radford not to get forward, but too far forward. One sees the skills of a player like Trevor Brooking, one wonders what he'd do if he was in a really good side. Oh, bad mistake, that's straight to Kerr, and that's four. And really, can you imagine? Can you imagine a team in the first division? No wonder Mervyn Day looks absolutely dejected. The ball being allowed to travel to Bobby Kerr. All on his own. Right in the middle of the goal. An absolute open goal. Bolton. Bond 
refusing to be shaken off it. Throw in. And it's another one. And it's Gary Rowell who makes it five. Neatly nodded down to him by Lee. And Rowell just coming in at full pace. Hits the ball. Hard, low, through. Into the back of the net. And Bonds way over there in the sunshine. That's for nobody in particular, but Waldron, the man getting it clear. And that's onside. Now then, Bob Lee with a chance to get number six. Has he? Yes, he has. And I have never seen anything so wide open as this West Ham defence. The ball just pushed forward by Doherty. And the whole of the West Ham team expecting an offside decision. There was no chance of that. Bob Lee keeping his goal. Went on. Picked it into the back of the net. 